Goa, yes, is about parties and having fun and the beaches, but there is another side to Goa. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing absolutely fine. I am in Goa and I am going to be taking you to some of the most iconic temples, churches and spiritual places within Goa. So let's go and have some fun. Goa is known for its nightlife and parties, beaches and casinos, but I'm taking you to some of the iconic churches and temples that you shouldn't miss when you next time come to Goa. First stop is the most popular Panjim Church. It's actually called Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary. This church has an iconic significance in the 80s and 90s Bollywood movies. So basically, if you ever had to establish where Goa was or what Goa is, this church was always the first image they would show. Unfortunately, it was closed for maintenance, but next time I promise I'll sh show you a glimpse. Next up are the old Goa churches. These are a cluster of churches and some of the iconic stories of Portuguese influence come from here. This is the museum area where you can obviously want take photographs, but it took a little glimpses and this is inside the church. Hopefully I can take some images there. And yeah. So unfortunately you cannot take videos inside the church as well, but I have to tell you something. It is a must visit place. It is so beautiful and and maintained even now. I mean, come on guys, it's insane. So the ticket to the museum is about 10 bucks, which is also interesting because you should have a look at how uh, Goa was invaded by the Portuguese and the history of Goa actually. So this is old Goa and this is really, really beautiful. I wish I could shoot and show you some stuff. The first building that you see is the Church of St. Francis of Assisi, a church that signifies best of blending Portuguese style, which later was modified to Tuxin style. This was built in 1521. The churches are now converted into museums and do not allow video, videography and photography. But inside, I try to get a little glimpse to show you guys. There is history of invasion, crucifixion, sacrifice and is a must visit. These are boats that were used during the Portuguese invasion and are quite well equipped, I must tell. It's also pretty fascinating of how they came into Goa and made Goa what it is today. This is the way to pilgrim of fate. I mean, whatever you say, even if Portuguese invaded Goa, they still kept. It's so beautiful and I'm so excited, happy that I'm right here and showing you exactly what the old Goa really looks like. This is the pilgrim of fate. I hope I can take some videos inside, but if I'm not able to, from the outside you can see this. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. And yes. Now this is where you can see the way of life of Christians. Even though most of the customs still exist, but they are now modified to the modern era and changing world. This is the entire complex of the old Goa church, which is a must to see from inside and outside. But you should be able to walk a lot. Crossing the road, you'll see another very famous church called Basilica of Bom Jesus Church, which was established in 1605. It is a three-story church alongside two small entrances. Again, you cannot take videos and photos inside, so yes, giving them just from the outside. Don't forget to take pictures outside before you enter. The altar of St. Anthony is located on the right and a wooden statue of St. Francis Xavier's is kept on the left. The Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit is depicted on the top of the main altar. The interiors of this chapel are adorned by the scenes of life of Jesus. When you come here, it is an experience. Honestly, I mean the light and sound show is all about Jesus and his story. So that's a must watch in the end after your tour of all the churches within the community. And you can take a photograph um, with the help of a professional photographer if you're a solo traveler like me who can't take their own pictures. Otherwise, yes, for sure, it's a great place to come. Don't forget to enjoy lunch at Going Classic where you'll get some amazing fish and is a must when you come here. This is the Shanti Durga temple. You must park your vehicles outside and walk through the temple. 
while you walk to the main temple you would see some souvenir shops street food and a community school for kids you will also find a sense of positivity as you walk through the lane buy some flowers before you enter it will help these women earn for their families The temple is dedicated to Shanti Durga, the goddess that meditates between God Vishnu and God Shiva. The temple was built in the Saraswat architectural style. This temple was also destroyed by the Portuguese in 1556 and then in 1730 it was rebuilt by Baji Rao Peshwa. That's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this one. The next time you come to Goa, you must visit these iconic places. I'll see you in the next one.